What's up everyone? It's your girl Kim, Winter and Sparrow, and we are making a Hello Sunshine sign today using this dollar decal from the Dollar Tree and using a galvanized tin plaque that I found on clearance at Michael's. I'm not sure if they have them anymore, but I do know they have the regular silver galvanized uh, signs that you can find for about $5 at Michael's or check the craft store in your area. But to make this, I am going to cut the sign in half so it fits on my plaque. And I'm going to pull out my ruler to try to get the hello part of it straight on my sign. And a word of caution, if you use uh, these stickers from the Dollar Tree, be careful when you pull them off because the backs will stick to each other and then you can't use it and it turns into a big old mess. So just a word of caution there. Ask me how I know this could happen. Yeah, done it. So once you apply the sticker decal, you want to smooth it out using your fingers. Get rid of any air bubbles. Now I cut around my sunshine piece so I can see where I want to place it. And I remove the backing and I'm putting it on there. Now you can see that I'm not using the ruler. Big mistake. Sometimes it doesn't turn out right when you eyeball it. Sometimes it does. Well, in this case, it didn't turn out right. So, there I am spotting that it's not straight. So I'm going to pull it back up and you wanna to try to avoid that if you can because it reduces the stickiness on the back. But thankfully I pulled it back up, straightened it out, Make sure you smooth out all the air bubbles, including uh, that heart above the eye. And that part's done. Now I'm taking a plumbing clamp, and it's not shown in the video, but you can use either super glue or you can drill a screw in there to hold it, but you're gonna need this for your mason jar. And um, that's going to hold your mason jar and your flowers. So I'm using lavender stems I found at Dollar Tree. I believe I got three or four stems for a dollar a piece. What I'm doing now is I'm using my wire clippers and I'm cutting them down. I put them into the mason jar I'm using and realized that they needed to be shorter and I didn't like the way they were lying when they were all lying in the jar. They look too clumped together, so I'm separating them and I'm making them shorter, and you'll want to do this also. Now we move on to the ribbon. This is optional, but I like adding that farmhouse style of burlap ribbon. So I'm showing you how it's done with a stapler. Obviously you wanna use hot glue, or something else but for the purposes of this video I'm showing you how I make my ribbon and I'm just securing it with the stapler. And I am using wired ribbon for this it allow, gives me the uh, ability to fluff out the ribbon bows and it hangs a lot nicer than regular burlap ribbon. And this is going to be the tail that goes in the back. You just attach that. If you find it is too long, if your tail, if you don't like the way it looks or it's cut, Use your scissors and cut it at a different angle. Cut it shorter, however you want. See how easy that ribbon was? If you need to go back and watch the video, go ahead and go back. So now we put everything together. Lavender in the jar. 
the burlap ribbon is glued onto the mason jar. Jar is attached with the plumbing uh, clamp. You can, like I said, use a drill or use super glue. And now we can change those flowers out for the season or holiday. We don't have to leave lavender in there. And look at how cute it looks. And it only took us about six easy steps. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it.